And you ask him a don't, don't, put me on this don't put me on this, bro. I mean, you, you. Come on, man. You don't get my permission to do that, bro. We in public, though. I don't I need don't that. I don't care. You, you, you do, man. I don't. Bro, you got to. Come on. You got to go. Come on. Come on, bro. Come on. Yo, his brother got to go. Come on, man. Hey, so you spoke to you spoke to him when? Can, can I get his name back on the first? No. You spoke to him when? I'm pretty sure it's in your policy to get that information. Yeah, I'll give it to you. When did you speak with the, the, the deputy of uh, the operations? Can I get your name and badge number? Not right now. Do you have, when did you speak to this guy? Okay, well, not right now. What's going on, good citizens? Yeah, today we at the Department of Community Resources and Services. We want to see if they're going to respect our right to report in public, ensure our rights are not infringed on by providing transparency and accountability within our government. So we'll go in here and take some pictures, look at video, and see what they really have. Uh, like what, what can they do for us? Let's check it out. How you doing, man? I just came in to just look around, take some pictures. Uh, just at a common area and see the resources you guys have available at this facility. Yeah, I'm just going I'm just going to look around. Okay. Okay, appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, I haven't been here before at this this site. What's going on? I don't have a business card. No. Okay. Hey, appreciate it. Thank you. We'll look around. I think this is like all county offices, but we will walk around and check it out. So y'all hang tight. Look like they got social services right next door. Hey, how you doing, sir? I'm just taking some pictures and video. Sure. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yes. Is this building, uh, is, is it new? Fairly new? Or is it, they've been here a while? Couple years old. Okay. What is what is this one right here? Just the community action council. Do you know what they do? Uh, they help with like rental assistance, energy, water assistance. There's a couple other things in there called like Head Start, which is like the school program. Mm -hmm. Stuff like that. Okay. Is is that one for? Yeah, make an appointment to go see them or? Yeah. Uh -huh. How how do you do that? Uh, I've never heard of them. Helping people change. Uh, okay, I'll probably come back once they look free. I appreciate it. Thank you. You guys close at five or close at four? Okay, they close at four though. Yeah. Okay. I see. So SNAP, you apply for SNAP in there as well? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'll be back. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. We definitely, we'll definitely going to go back in there. Because that seems like it would be um, open to the public. So we will check them out. See how they do. Right. Let's see, only the office is his main sign there. Yeah, so hey, just, just hang tight. We're going we gonna to see what's around this corner. Hey, you know, this is the same one. 
to the service that Annapolis Audit was in. And they had issues at this facility. How you doing? Up to you, ma'am. If, if my supervisor has to come here, okay. you're going to go to jail. You're going to open yourself up to civil lawsuits, sir. Okay. It's not the first time. Okay. That's why I have a body camera. You aware that holding a camera can't be constituted as a disturbance, right? That I have a legal and lawful business. This is legal and lawful. I already dealt with this at the municipal center right across the street from your... No, I'm good. I don't need any escorts. No, sir. I don't need any escorts, sir. This is causing more of a disturbance than it needs to right now. Thing is, is you know, I don't. Is, I don't need. This is a facility. Mm -hmm. Listen, this is a facility where people are coming first. Yeah, coming for a service. Okay? Uh, yeah, me too. All right. I have legal so, and lawful business here. Yeah. Yeah. I want to keep that. You know. Yeah, I know. But I, I need an escort. I'm all good. No escort. I'm all good. Thank you. Though. Appreciate you though. Yeah, this is the same one. That I talked to. Uh, Nobody's up there? What's going on, bro? Oh, yeah. I'm just, I guess I'll go through. Uh, yeah, you can't call in here, though. It's against the law. You talking about that sign right there? Yeah, no, no recording inside here, bro. I can definitely record it. Huh? Yeah, I can definitely record it. Read the sign, bro. Come I mean, on. I, I know no, the sign. I'm asking you nicely. You don't record. Bro. I mean, you ask, I'm a don't, don't respectful put me on this. Don't put me on this, bro. I mean, you, you... Come on, man. You don't get my permission to do that, bro. We in public, though. I don't I need don't that. I don't care. You, you, you do, man. I don't. Bro, you gotta, come on, you gotta go. Come on. Come on, bro. Come on. Yo, his brother got to go. Come on, man. Come I'm not on, finna bro. go nowhere. I'm not going nowhere. Yeah, you got to go, man. Nah. You got to go. What's up, man? Yeah, doing? yeah, I came in. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Just... Hold on. Kevin, okay, I hear you. Hey, how you doing? What's going on, man? How you doing? Good, how are you? What's up? I just came in to do some pictures and video. No. Bro, it's not that low. Okay. I, I would prefer not to. Are you gonna you gonna arrest me if I don't leave? You got arrest authority? Do you guys not take the picture? Recording a video? Why not? I'm, we have signs. We have we have signs and stuff posted, bro. You're not supposed to have cat video on here. So you talking about this sign right here? Yeah. Right. So I actually went to DHS and had a conversation with them, and they said that I can. Who told you that at DHS? Daniel Wade. Who? Daniel Wait. I don't even know him. You want his phone number? I don't need his phone number, but you can't do it ahead though. You can't do it inside the building, bro. Come on, man. We got we got signs that say you cannot Let's do it ahead, sir. So, just respect, just respect it. That's bro. all I'm Come trying on, to be so, nice. Just respect it, bro. Come on. Bro. We, we, you wanna, we have a dialogue if y'all wanna have a dialogue. No, we don't wanna have a dialogue. So, you videotaping, you doing it for your entrance, and that's how we be trying to do it. Whoa. So we we're in public. Cheap, cheap. Hey, just call the police, bro. We ain't got time for that. Hey, no, 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 Bro. He gonna. He said, "Call no one." That police are coming. They'll educate you. They'll, they'll let you know. They'll okay, check. okay. Go step up outside. Uh, no, I'm not going nowhere. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not going nowhere. Oh. <laughs> so they're gonna call no one. Like I just told you, call Daniel. Who's calling Daniel? Well, call. He wants to call the police. Call the police. I'll, I'll call Daniel. You call the police. How about that? Yeah, that's fine. I'll call Daniel. Y'all call the police. Let's 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 go that route. What's going on, citizen? Man, today we at the Department of Human Services. Just trying to see what's up with this policy that uh, they're trying to enforce down at the uh, Department of Human Services or I think it was Behavior Service, something like that. But yeah, I called multiple times. And then they always say, oh, we're going to get you to somebody. And this is in the third, and they never seen to answer the phone. So we're going to go in here and see if we can talk to somebody about it. Yeah. Hi. How you doing? Good. My name's Dan Wade. I'm Deputy Secretary for Operations here at the Department of Human Services. Deputy, Se Deputy Secretary? Yes, here you go. Yeah, I appreciate that. So, um... And I know you've been to a number of our locations. Yeah, I and, have. Uh, you know, we uh, appreciate what you're doing and uh, your right to do it within certain limitations. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we're not here to confront you. We're not here to tell you you can't do what you're doing. What we are asking is for the confidentiality of our customers. Do you guys, are you the ones who hired the local guards that are 
in the other social service buildings? And there's a process for doing that. Um, the contract, and again, I'm not going to get into the, the details of that process, but uh, um, there, is a, there is a hiring process for them, I will say. Mm -hmm. So I did. And a contracting process. Right. So I have reached out to the uh, security guards, contract personnel, and as far as, as soon as I get on site, or at least one of them that I get on site, they don't even want to have a conversation. They immediately call the police. Okay. Like that is, I think that's a problem. Yeah. They don't even want to have a conversation. Okay. That, even if I called you, that's not going to fix that issue. Mm -hmm. And they're ref again, they're referencing you guys' sign as legality. And then in the end, it turns out that, it's, that it, maybe if it was phrased differently, mm -hmm. That would, that would be better. Yeah. But it's, instead of just saying you absolutely cannot, and they say, hey, this says you cannot, and we're gonna call the police, Even off, off the bat. Yeah. How, do we, how do we fix that? Well, we certainly can uh, continue to have our internal conversations about that and ensuring that we are properly training and getting the word out to our security guards about how these, I, these situations are to be handled. Uh, that I can commit to you. We will make sure that we're doing. Okay. Okay. I'll work with that. And I guess if I have any issues, then, I mean, I got your card. I got your number. Absolutely. I appreciate it. And then uh, if I do have an issue where I'm not able to reach you or it gets escalated, you know, and without any de-escalation context, then. Let me do this. I want to put, if you don't mind, I want to put you in my phone as a contact. So if you do call me I know it's you and I can make sure that uh, we are addressing your concerns right away it is crazy I mean you in public so you can't really bro, tell me bro, where bro, or where not to be you problem? well if you let me continue my business we won't have a problem you ain't got no business in here I do you want me to tell you what the business is? Come on. Tell him. Tell him the police right now. Tell him. Now, your other dude told you to call the police. I didn't tell you to call the police. I didn't say they said that. I didn't say that. I can tell you what my business is if you want to have that dialogue. I don't have to, but I don't mind telling you. I hope they just tell you to let me go, leave me alone. But if not, then. So they're going to do their little spill, and then. I didn't say call the police. They said call the police. Not me. I didn't say that. One of your people said that. Or maybe it was him. So I'm not sure. Oh, what's your DJ name? DJ Sense, S E N S eight. Shout it out. World Star Hip Hop. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> you busy, man. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I know y'all been through this before. It's crazy that they this we doing this again. They say they said let me go or they on the way? Which one? The police on the way? Yes. They said they're gonna come? Yes. That's crazy. Okay. Well I, I mean I'll tell you, right? Uh I, I'm an independent journalist. I am gathering content. I didn't 
bother nobody and cause a disturbance. I just want to take my pictures and video, which I have the right to do so. I do. I do. I know they got these signs, but I spoke. I spoke to DHS about the signs. And this is a, this is a public lobby. And I just told you, you work at DHS. He the communication director of DHS. Why you not telling me? Daniel is not telling me about this one. He he need to get around and inform everybody and educate them. You're not going in the building, just wait well, until the police comes. I mean, I, I mean, I don't mind waiting. Let me call. Let me, you, I'm going to call, Daniel. I'm call. That's why, why you try, try to make easy way? Well, I mean, I was going to call you. Well, I mean, I was, but your buddy over here, he want to escalate. No, 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 no. Listen, stay. We're not straining. It's what they're saying. Not at all. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, listen, I mean, you're in public. As long as you talk to me, we're going we gonna to do this. Oh, you know what? His number is in this other phone. Oh, you record me too? Yeah, let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, yeah, let's do this. Come on. How you gonna tell me not to record and you record? Now, right, so, I want I want but I want if you're recording the people, right? I want evidence. <laughs> you want evidence? But yeah. technically now you breaking the law. Oh, no, and if we can't record there's a camera right there. You want the attention, bro, so you can put this on YouTube and get some attention. I mean, wherever oh, I wow. put this my prerogative. Wow. Get a light, bro. Hey, you get a light. Go pick get up your light. go go pick up your child. You're not gonna make that TikTok song or what? Look at him. Looking dumb. You, you saw he flipped me off, right? You saw that, right? Please don't recap. You saw that? What y'all? What's y'all coming? TCS Security? Yeah. Who? Who's y'all supervisor? Y'all got a card? I don't. I don't know any card. Okay. We got to report him. That you know that ain't right. Who's Daniel? He told me. I don't know. He says, Who's Daniel? Daniel? Yeah. Uh, you, you already called the police, so you ain't trying to de-escalate. You trying to escalate? <laughs> Man. Appreciate it. It's okay. They'll be out here. We'll educate and move on by our way. Listen, listen, listen. Wherever I want to put it is my prerogative. Y'all trying to say, oh, you're going to put it on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter. It doesn't matter. It don't matter. I might want to. I might, I might want to have it just for me. How about that? All right, maybe I like, I like, I like watching my videos at night. Like movies. You know what I'm saying? But now y'all want to call the police and escalate. You call 911? Like this is a, you call, did you call 911? You used a non-emergency number. Yeah. Again, shout out to, you know, Annapolis out I mean, I know you came to this site, this exact same site. You've been through this. Apparently, they didn't get the message. They did not get the message. That's why we do revisits. That is why. Yeah. I don't know. He, it's it's okay. I mean, I'll get... Tony Page. Don't say nothing. Call the police. Call the That's it. That's it. All right? Don't say nothing. Don't, no conversation. No, no. We had this problem. Yeah, I did. And they told him to let y'all go. Let him do what he want to do, right? No, they didn't. What they no, do? They didn't. We got a case. Oh, it's still ongoing? Yeah. Oh, okay. Look at him in sight. Just he don't know what the reason is. Reason maybe. Just look at him. Just he caught you the real you the real disturbance. They're gonna let me in. You just, you just. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on, look. Just do what he said, just disengage. I, you know, I'm not, I don't wanna cause a problem, and I don't want you to think that, cause, that I'm being confrontational.
Okay. So I'm gonna let I'm gonna let y'all do what y'all gotta do, and then when we we'll talk to the police and then you know, cause I think I'm being I'm not I'm not being disruptive or anything. I'm just trying to take care of my business. That's it. That 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 makes sense. You I want to take a picture. So. You said what? The driver license. For what? I want to get your information. Your information. You didn't get their driver's license. Who? Them. You didn't get their driver's license. No, I'm talking about you. I'm not giving my driver's license. Yeah. They're not gonna get my driver's license. If the police ask you, what do you do? Not give the police. Yeah, that's my that's my Fourth Amendment right. <laughs> Why you like it? Because you you ask me for information. You don't ask any. Everybody got to be the same. Wait, she might be on the phone. With the police back there. That's crazy, huh? You sure you you sure you called? They coming? I don't have time to be here all day. I got. No time, just go. Now, I'm, finna, I'm telling you what's going to happen. Yeah, no, it's not any, it's not over here. I'm going to put all my stuff in the back, in the bucket. I'm going to walk through. No, okay. How about if I turn this up, I can go through? If I turn I, my camera off? No, no, I told you already. I told you already, turn off the thing early. Go in there, you say no. Still wait until police is told. Oh, so now I can't go in? No. Okay. Even if I turn the camera off? I ask you before why you said no before. I'm just saying what my options are. No way, no, no, no. I mean, okay. you said no. Not allowed. I don't know who said no. Who's Tony? You got a name? What's your name? I'm telling you later. Hmm? I thought I had his car. I don't have his car. I thought I had Daniel's car, but I guess I don't have it. I mean, he said, he he already told me, even if I turn out, he's not going to let me in. Right? You're not going to let me in, right? Okay. It is. It's a nice looking stand. I like my stand. You know what I'm saying? If I take it off the stand, I come in? So, I'm telling you that I have business here. You don't ask. Okay, okay. I don't, I don't want anything. Okay. Because it's not fair. You don't ask everybody what their business is. Why I got to tell you my business? I don't want to tell you my business. Right now, I don't want to talk to you. That's good. That's good recommendation. I agree with you. I can talk. You. you, you, you. You're right. And this is also a part of the First Amendment. Freedom of speech, freedom of the press. That's all in the same now. Yeah, so I'm down here at one of your buildings having an issue. Uh, so I'm calling you. Let's try to, I'm at, um, what is this? Howard County? 9780? Yeah, ninety-seven eighty. Is is this one of your buildings? Patux, Patuxnet Woods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I told I tried to inform, inform the guards here that you know I said hey, you know I'm just coming in, I'll be real quick, just do my, my, uh, you know, pitching video, capture the, the the lobby. I'd be in and out, and they escalated immediately. They like, called the police. And I, you know, again, they, they referencing the same signs. That's why I talked to you about the signs to begin with, because that's what they do. And they start infringing on our rights. They just want to, you know, based off of the signs, they say, hey, yeah, absolutely not. I'm like, it's a common lobby. Like, what are we doing? Right. No, nobody. They behind the glass. They conducting business as normal. Taking care of everybody, and then of course when they're talking about things in private, they take them to the back in private as they should. It's it's just the security guards, and they and they reference your you know your signs. You want to talk to him? Yeah, this is Daniel. Talk to Daniel. <clears throat>
Get my phone so you can talk to Daniel. He over DHS. Uh, what Daniel say? Daniel, he say, just wait till you call him for my boss, right? And he gonna call your boss? Yeah, your boss. She come and she handles the case. Understand the situation, but you never explain for me. Yeah, I, I tried. Yeah, what's going on, Dan? Okay. Geneva Rio. Okay. 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 I mean, do they need to talk to me? They need to talk to the security guard. I just need to. Okay, that works for me as long as, you know, I don't want to be infringed on. So as long as I get the point gets across, I'm okay with it. Yeah, I mean, that's okay. You know, I, you know, I battle it out, not a problem. But, yo, you, whenever uh, that lady come out, whoever you recommend it, uh, yeah, I, I'll chat with them and we'll, we'll see how that go. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. What's going on, man? Call. Yes, I call. Let me talk to you first. I mean, we're in public, you know, yeah, talk. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. You can. I never want to talk to us. I 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 want to talk to us. I'm thinking, why are you recovering? Yeah. I talked to my supervisor. Yeah. Whenever you're ready, officer, I had that dialogue, you finished with him, I'll tell you what's going on here. Yeah, yeah. It's reading this sign, same sign we've been talking about for a long time now. I'm not really sure why this is still a thing, but. We wire and talk. Yeah. Oh, okay. right, so you can hang back here. I don't have no issues with nobody here calling me. So I came in here. Uh, I told him I wanted to inspect the building, do a little bit of pictures and video. Uh, also, my second thing I wanted to file a, a PI request with the uh, with the staff. Uh, that was my purpose of being here. I would have been in and out 10, 15 minutes. I go to many of these buildings, the social service building, as well as many other government government buildings. But with this building, uh, the social service buildings, uh, they have that sign, the one that you just picked up. I reached out to DHS, his guy's name is Daniel Way. He's over these guys, as far as like the director of communications. He has, you know, vetted with him that, yeah, we can understand that the, the signs and they are enforcing it as if it's law, it's not law, right? It goes against, you know, my first amendment right. Right, to be able to record in public because it's public public property daniel's okay with it we talked about him maybe redoing the signs or verbiage or whatever the case may be to prevent people from looking at it and interpreting it as if it's law or it has some sort of standard you can always ask me but you can't tell me 
that'd be a violation. Because this is a constitutionally protected activity, and I can do that on those grounds. After I had that, that conversation with Dan, I went back to the other locations. I had no, no issue because he explained to them the situation. Someone has already been to this location before, had the same issue. Eventually it got clear, but here we are again with different staff. You see what I'm saying? And so really, they just need to be educated to allow me to do what I'm doing, you know, without, you know, being molested to say the least. I didn't bother anybody, not being a disturbance. Just came in, I told them exactly what I was trying to do, and I'd have been in and out, no big, no what big deal. To uh, like I told you before, we got a gentleman coming in over here. Like I told you before, I was coming into this public building. I wanted to record the public information. Um, I gather, gather content, gather information for general interest to the public. The second thing I want to do is file a PIA request with the uh, personnel in the back, right? Or, you know, you can follow it at the, at the counter uh, to, to gather information from them. Both are protected, both one is state law, one is a constitutionally protected activity. And that's all I want to do. And I want to do it peacefully without being molested. That's it. So you want to go in there and just record? Record the public, the public documents that they have available. That is what I want to do. I guess, I don't know what the problem is. He, I think he just needs to be educated that I can do it. Stay out here. I mean, I can go, I can go inside. I mean, I prefer not to. I want to hear what's going on. It's public. I mean, respectfully. No, that's cool. Stay outside for me while I investigate. Why are you investigating? Mm -hmm. you tell, you, you're telling me lawfully mm -hmm. to step out. Yeah, step out. You know this is public, though, right? Step out. I'm just going to talk to him real quick. You want me to step out? This, this is wild. I feel like if I don't, he gonna be like, you gonna be under arrest. You know what I'm saying? I just, I, I don't know. So, no. According to their sign, they spoke with the state attorney as well as headquarters for DHS. And according to the language, any this is a restricted area. But it's so not though. You, you have to take that over DHS and the state's attorney. I just talked to DHS on the phone. I just called them. Talk. Right, call them up. You want to talk to them? Mm hmm And if it's restricted, like, there's no no signs, nothing like that? Like, the sign, it was right there. No, there's the signs. That what, it says it's restricted? Mm -hmm. What does it say? It's right there. You didn't read it. No, nah, I ain't seen no sign that says restricted. Where, where is that? I read it. Oh, go ahead and call DHS real quick. Not answering the phone. But hey, just talk to him. Even the guard talked to him. Okay. Yeah. What what sign it says is it's restricted. Stand up. Go ahead. No, call him. I want to so I can talk. No, I did. He didn't answer the phone. Maybe I maybe I can try again. Give, give him a couple minutes. He might call me back. Okay. But I, I talked to him, the guard talked to him. What's the uh what the number? Yeah, hold on. Yeah, now you're saying that it's something restricted that says, I mean, I don't even know what he talking about, but. Okay, hey, I, got the I got the police here with me. He, he requested to talk to you. I mean, pretty much you could tell him you know, what you told me. I mean, it's some things that we agree to disagree, but for the most part, we on the same shit of music for the most part. So. Okay. Yeah, he's right in front of you. You want to talk to you? You mind talking to? No. What's his name? Okay. His name is Daniel Wade. He don't want to talk to you, but I. You mind if I give him your information? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. His name. 
Daniel Waite. Waite is W. It's W A I T, right? Yeah. And his phone number is uh, four four three, three six one. I'm sorry, four four three. And his title. What's your What's your title, Daniel? Deputy Secretary for Operations. Yeah. And can I get your name and badge number? I didn't get it the first time. I'll give it to you later. Oh, okay. Well, he went back to his vehicle. He wrote it down, and I guess he going, I don't know, maybe somebody will call you. So I guess we're going to look at it. Appreciate Miss Batiste? Batista. Okay, thank you. Hey, is Linda Batista? Well, he just told me she coming out. D Daniel, he said he reached out. She coming out to talk to me. Nobody told me. Who, who's that person? Well, when you see Linda, let me know, okay? Linda what? Linda Batista. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. So we'll do it this way. I mean, we at the end of the day, we we trying to make sure that rights at the end of the day don't get violated, and we trying to do it, go through it the proper way so that. So that we don't have this issue. Oh, uh, literally, they locked the door. So, y'all locked this door? This week, you asked me. Oh, y'all did? Wow. Wow. So, they locked the door. That's definitely a complaint. Y'all can't do that. See that? They locked the door. And now only the exit. So he's walking in and letting people, I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's definitely locked right there. You can see that right, let me see my finger right, right there. And only allowing people in through the, like watch this, watch this right here. Right, messing up the flow. Wow. That is crazy. Lock the door. See what I'm saying? That's crazy. The ass messing up the flow. And I get it. They say, you know, look at this. You should record me. Let me set this way. See if she going. Go this way. <laughs> That's crazy. Are you Linda? I mean, Batista? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. How you doing? Hi, nice to meet you. Good. How's it going? Uh, well, I was going okay before I was interrupted. Sure. How can yeah. I help you? Uh, so, uh, like I told both these gentlemen, I yeah. came in to gather public information, gather okay. content, the public documents available. Okay. Uh, and then I wanted to file a PIA okay. uh, with, with this office. Okay. And then and that was it. Like, okay. I had nothing else. I wasn't being causing a disturbance. I actually didn't even speak to anybody. Okay. Uh, and then I was I was stopped by another gentleman. They referenced the sign. Uh, I informed. I said, "Hey, I understand the sign is there. The sign is not law. More like a recommendation." I, I talked to Daniel about it because I've been up to his office. Yes. Daniel cleared it. He said, "Hey, I, I talked to Daniel about rewording the sign so it's not being pushed or forwarded like it's law because because of the signs, why people keep calling the police." Okay. Right. And he said that's something he'll look into to maybe get it rewarded so it doesn't get enforced the way it's getting enforced. Okay. Uh, but I was good to go, you know, anyway. Okay. So I did this. I, I go to many different social service buildings and gather my content for my story. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm having an issue at this location. All I want to do is be clear, just like any other public citizen. Okay. Gather my content, file my PIA request. And I'll be on my way. Okay. Like, I don't even want to talk to nobody other than my PIA request. That's it. Okay. So um, I spoke to the director of the mm -hmm. building and she just informed me that those requests get done through an email, through a website. That's one way. So that's how she told me that they're designated to do them here at Howard. Mm -hmm. um, so I could go and get you that information for you if you'd like and give you the address so that you can, for you can file that without a problem. The only reason why they have an, you know, why like recording in the buildings because there's a lot of clients and individuals that have sensitive, you know, information mm -hmm. and sensitive situations. Mm -hmm. So that's why filming inside like the lobby is 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 not allowed to just respect their privacy. That's strictly the only reason why it's not 
So I completely, same yeah. thing I talked to, talked to Dan about, I completely understand why they put the signs there. Yeah. But the onus is on, on you guys to, you know, protect that private information. Yes. But again, that private information should be, you know, talked about in private, like in a private office or something of that nature, not in public. Which, yeah, um, which, which we don't, but sometimes... So, I understand, yeah. but again, I'm not even here for that. Yeah, right? I'm not understand. like I'm hovering on, on nobody's shoulder. Because that, at that point, it'd be kind of like harassment. Right. 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 And I'm not harassing yeah, anybody. No. I'm not even talking about hovering on nobody's shoulder, looking at what they're writing on any pieces yeah. of paper. Right. I want to just go over, look at the public documents on the wall and gather the public information. Yeah. And then I want to go up and, uh, and do my PI request. And I feel like I should be treated as any other public citizen oh, because yeah. the camera cannot be caused as a, it can't be looked at as a disturbance and my activity that I'm doing is constitutionally protected. So anybody that infringes on that, like that's up for a lawsuit on that individual or that agency. And I'm doing multiple things. I really feel like I'm doing more than what I should be doing to mitigate this, right? By going all the way to DHS and calling Daniel on his phone, right? He reaching out to you. Like that's more than what, if they were just educated, let me do what I gotta do. We wouldn't have this problem to begin with. If I start breaking the law, like harassing somebody, yeah then that's a different story, but I'm not doing any of that. I want it to be granted access, like anybody else. I go through the little metal detector, gather my public documents, and then do my PI request. That's it. I mean, I, I get it with y'all with the no recording sign, yeah. but that sign can't tell me to stop. It just, it just can't. It's not law and it's not enforceable, which is why me and Dan had this conversation. And I'm, at the end of the day, I'm still granted access at the end of the day. I mean, so, I understand. Yeah, and I understand exactly where you're coming from, mm -hmm. and you know, and we're no, we're not saying that you're being, you know, disruptive or anything like that. But I'm it's being just, prevented. So we just we don't want people like the clients in there feeling uncomfortable with the filming. That's but I wasn't I wasn't filming them. Huh? I wasn't filming them. But like, if you're coming in and and filming, that's what's that's the only reason but why they're telling. But not it's constitutionally to. protected. So I then, understand that. so if you tell me not to do that. Then you're, then you're trying to take away my right. Oh, we're not trying to take away anybody's rights Then here. they should look at the camera like it's not even here. So that's why they just, there's the online option for you to do the MPIA request. And that's right, but I can't their... gather these public documents like what I want to. What public documents Every, you like? Everything that's on the wall. Everything on the wall, all the pamphlets, everything, which I have the right to do. Okay. And they should just act like I'm not even here. Just act like I'm not even present. No one, no, no of private citizen in there has said, oh, I don't want, I don't want, stop recording me. Stop. No one said anything to me. Nobody. It's the guard, and that was it. Not even the staff. They ain't said nothing to me, right? But they, it's just the guard. I didn't talk to nobody. Nobody talked to me. Okay, let me call my director, and just because I'm, yeah, I'm the assistant director. But didn't so it come down? Didn't call. they talk to you? They just told me to come and speak to you and, 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 and just get some information and just talk to you, so I'm going to call my director and speak to her and see where we can go on from here and I mean there's really only one route because if y'all tell me I can't go in because I'm recording no we're not telling you can't and I'm not telling you I'm just telling you let me just go talk to my director real quick just because I'm I'm informed that no filming is allowed so if you're gonna film in there that's the only thing you can come in no problem it's just the filming that creates a little bit of a disturbance to the clients and it makes them feel a little uneasy. And that's the only reason why we asked you to just hold on a minute while we just clarify and just make sure. Mm -hmm. But you are all. aware that the camera cannot be looked at as a disturbance. I am and the aware feelings is not law. That I, I am aware, I'm gonna call my director and I'll okay. literally be right back with you. Okay, I'm literally right with you. All right. He locked that door, so you gotta go in this way. He was switcheroo on y'all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So let's go see what this Popo gotta say, cause he ain't got out the car yet. He owe me his name and band's number. So we'll just go and politely request that. He just sit in the damn car. Knock, knock. Go on the look.
like he looking, probably looking for a charge. Or, not sure what he's doing in there, but. It's crazy, huh? What charge can I hem this guy up with? Man, can I do this one? Nope. How about that one? Nope. Can, can I get your name back on the first? No. You spoke to him when? I'm pretty sure it's in your policy to get that information. Yeah, I'll give it to you. When did you speak with the, the, the deputy of uh, the operations? Can I get your name in Basmo? Not right now. Do you have, when did you speak with this guy? Okay, well, not right now. Some bullshit. I think it's on this bed, on this chest right there. Like it's one, I can't really see it. In Durham, D U R H A M. Yeah, I got a B on it. Badge number 1952 or 19. There you go, right there. Thank you. 1932. You can't cover it up. Hey, can you get a supervisor out here? Oh, it might be right there. Yeah. I just go, I'll go talk to him. He's not a sergeant either. Can I get a supervisor out here? Uh, can I get a supervisor? Uh, yeah. Yeah, please and thank you. With who? The deputy of operations. So he was saying that, yeah. So what you were doing in there, you can't. You don't even know so, what I was, what was so I doing? you can't be in there disrupting customers, uh, disturbing privacy, I stuff didn't, like that. I didn't disturb okay, anybody. wait a minute. Wait, so you can be in there recording, you record things like, you said chairs, pamphlets, things. Okay, well then Which tell them to open the door. I don't need any of the other direct directives. Mm -hmm. I know what I can and cannot do. Okay. Tell them to open the door and let me in. That's all I want. Hey, how you doing? Good. Can I get your name and pass on, please? Yes, sir. Sergeant Simcox, 5469. Okay. Isn't it our policy to give that information if it's asked? Yeah. Then I asked him and he didn't want to give it. So can you I tell him to verbalize it to me? I didn't, I didn't, say I didn't want to give it. I said, well, No, I actually you said no. And then I came up to your vehicle and you yeah. said, not right now. Can right. you just tell, I asked him for his name and badge number. Oh, I would like him to verbalize it to me. I may be I dyslexic. No, him. Oh, okay. Can so you tell I'll... him as his supervisor to verbalize his so name and badge it, number? Yeah. So It's been yes. like 20 minutes. Yes. You can come in and record the stuff on the walls just as long as you just, you know, don't record any of the yeah, individuals in there. So by all means, yeah. you can go ahead. I just had to get yeah, a okay from the answer. director. That's all. So to be perfectly fair. Yeah. Right. I'm not here to record any individual. No, and I understand but as, that. But it's not, if someone comes across my camera, that's perfectly legal. Right. I'm not recording like, hey, I'm looking exactly at what they're doing. Like, I'm not up on somebody like, hey, I'm looking at them. They come across my camera, so be it. That's just, perfectly yeah, legal. You just, if you know, they ask you, you know, not to be filmed, it's just that we, you know, if you just respect it, their request. I'm a, re I'm a respect, I'm a respectful person. They don't talk to me, they won't end up on my camera. Okay. There's no, no, no foul, no harm. That's, 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 that's fair. That's fair. You, you, can always, job, you can always, you can always ask. You can always ask. Yeah. Right. So if you want, we could go in. Uh, I'm definitely going to go. I just need this guy's information. If you can, Tell him to give Guys, it to me. Thank you. Now, was that that hard? I don't, I, I didn't call you guys. I'm good with them. 
I really don't want to speak to you guys anyway, so I'm just going to go back and do my business. Is that okay? Yeah. All right, cool. I, I appreciate you, man, for yeah. coming to talk to yeah, me. Of course. I'm not no trying problem. to be like no, a understand. certain way with the police. Is just, you know, yeah. I don't want to talk to them again. I didn't call them. No, so. I understand. Now about the the PIA request that I would like, I understand that online is an option. I think it's just because uh, it's a speedier option. It's I mean, it is, but I'm not here yeah. for the speedy option. Okay. Yeah, I, I want to fill it out. I can fill it on a blank sheet of paper. Yeah, that's fine. I turn in and yeah. you know y'all can let process. I'll the front it. desk know to get down all of your contact information so mm -hmm. that we can forward it to the appropriate. I appreciate. It. And did somebody? Did you educate the guards? Because they are, they are the ones who started this. Um, well, we're you know. I'll have a conversation with their their director. That, yep, that'll work. I appreciate come it. Come on in here. Mm-hmm. You ready now? That's, That's what I'm right. talking about. Um, I gotta take my my watch on. Mm, my glasses. Camera down here. Put my camera down. Yeah, camera down. So anyway, like I was saying before, you guys. Uh, yeah, we knew they couldn't stop us from doing what we're trying to do. It's just we, we got to have these issues. Every now and then they come up and they got to call the police. Anyway, it looked like they got some spiffy. I don't know if these uh, systems was here before, but that is pretty, pretty neat. Uh -huh. Pretty neat. And then they got another one over here, so they got one, two, three, and then I guess two old school ones. But maybe that one is just for child support. Where's my finger? There it is. Maybe that one is just for child support. I'm not really, not really sure. Uh, this one work? Let's see. They do work. Okay. Then we got these. This is the the sign that we have to issue with to begin with. Now we've been dealing with DHS for the longest, but as we can see. Is not really as enforceable as it may seem. I wonder if the. Uh, matter of fact, let me go get a. Uh, I need to go get a, the incident number real quick from the police. I need to go talk to them real quick. I'll be right back. You're welcome. Yeah, before they run off, I mean. Make sure I get that incident number. What's going on, gentlemen? Quick, do y'all got an incident number or a case number? Uh, yeah. yeah, can I get that? Yeah, sure. yeah I appreciate that. Yeah. What's, uh, what's your YouTube channel? What's my YouTube channel? Yeah. Maybe I don't want to tell y'all. Alright. Yeah. You don't have to. I'm just asking. Yeah. Why? You want to look at it? You want to see your stuff? Yeah, I want to see what kind of stuff you got. Oh, okay. Do you uh, normally in Howard County or do you go to other counties? In I go I go all over. Yeah, yeah, I go all over. In Maryland? Or? In Maryland. Okay. In Maryland. That's good. Yeah. Have you, uh, have you had any like really bad reaction from the police? Or they just, they, they... I've, 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 I've been... You know, I'm only answering your questions to be fair because you've been pretty cordial. You didn't come yeah, out guns blazing, to, you right? You know how it works. You don't have to answer exactly. Any of my okay, yeah. You already know. I, I haven't had no real situation, no no real issues. So yeah. it's just you know we accountability. We want to make sure you guys are, are held accountable. This one, I'm not too sure about him. Okay, I he, think he's a good officer. I, I would hope so. You know, it's just what's going on with you guys in the First Amendment. Well, what's what's the, what's the real problem? As far as why do they feel like we we can't record and they try to I, stop us and then they like, get educated usually by no 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 it's usually the police I think the junior the junior guys I think it's just um, we need to probably have some more training on that type of yeah thing. It's, it's, this isn't something we deal with regularly mm -hmm. as far as like the, the recording goes so it, because it's something appreciate that, that. thank you we don't deal with regularly um, there's just some I guess there's some people that. Um, are sort of unfamiliar with what you're allowed to record and what you're not and then 
when we get a call from them and they're they're like you know someone's being disruptive we have to come and see if they're being disruptive mm -hmm. or if they're just recording and they don't like it you know what i mean right so it's yeah what it is. i'm sorry real quick. is this a nine or a four this is the second to the last number nine. that's a nine okay yeah and that, and that's that's perfectly that's perfectly uh that's fine that's pretty fair as well i mean i think this is definitely a topic that just needs to be educated oh, I gotta, hold on, I gotta put my Oh yeah, I gotta turn my camera back on. Sorry about that. Okay, no problem. Yeah, yeah that it just some of that just, just should be educated, and I, I always appreciate you know the officers that come out and, and decide to uphold the law, uphold the Constitution as you, yeah. you guys swore to do. Yeah. So, so but so it's not. I don't really think it's more of an issue of like we're trying to like uh, like oppress people's like freedom of speech or the press. It's just more of like. Uh, people just need to be more well informed about what exactly you're allowed to do inside a public building, like that right. type of thing. I think my my main concern is yeah. you guys, you know, you uphold the law, yeah. not policy, not feeling. Yep. It's the law. Yep, one hundred percent. So the main son is in here that when he pointed it out uh, to him, it was a policy by DHS, mm -hmm. not the law. It's a policy. I go. Out, I went out my way to call DHS up higher. They say, "Hey, call down here and educate these guys," because okay. you know he understands that. Okay, well, the way that it's written, they may try to enforce it like it's law, but it's not law at the end of the day. Right, but they don't. They're not paying close attention to like policy. Or That's correct, that but it's not their that. job. It's it's like you guys' job that when you guys get out here, say, "Okay, yes, this is a policy, not law." Well, we I can't. Have... Well, he didn't. When he came back outside to talk to me, he said, "Hey, well, they." They have a sign that says you can't do it. Then you said that they also said something that's res is restricted, right? Yeah, and that's why I wanted to call the guy you talked to, David Wade, just, right. just to find out what exactly was going on. Right, but you also told me there was something that says it's a, it's restricted. That's what the sign says. Right. Uh, that's policy. Mm -hmm. So regardless of even of whoever, if they're not law enforcement, you guys know the law, not the people who create the policy. There is, there is a Maryland uh, trespassing law for public buildings. Yeah, I do, and you have to do what? You have to be disruptive. You have to either break the law. You have yeah, to. All, you have to be, but I think it also says you have to be using the building for the intent that it's 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 made for, which would go. That's fun. This I'm using the building for what it's used for. Right. Yeah. Right. Because gathering content, and I want to do a PIA request with this government agency. That's right. official business. Time, yeah, place, manner. Right. Yeah. So, all of that I. I still, you know, I informed him of everything that I was doing, yeah. but he came back to the sign. I'm like, hey, at the end of the day, this sign is not law. The sign is not law. You're right. So as long as that. And that's why That's why I called uh, David Waits to figure out what's going on. Because I've never had anybody talk about the sign in here. And I was dealt with it. Like you said, we don't usually deal with it, so. And that's, and that's, and that's fine. I think as long as everybody gets educated, I will be fine. It, it's concerning because this is not the first visit at this location. That's yeah. that's the worst part. Yeah. Is that Howard County has been out here before, yeah. dealt with this situation before, yeah. and here we are again. That's that's the most concerning part. And if, if Howard County, the police have been out here before and dealt with this before, how come that information didn't get back? Howard yeah. County should be educated. Well, because well, because part of it is if you're, if they're claiming that you're being disruptive, we have to come ask questions to figure out were you being disruptive or were you just merely filming mm -hmm. so that's part that we have to come and ask a question and if we come out here and they're like okay he was just filming and it's not really a disruption then we know but we still have to call if they call us we still have to come yeah. ask questions and sort it out and that's fair and i'm you know i'm not a disruptive person i'm calm i talk to people yep. i try to have a dialogue try to make sure things are being displayed correctly We all know where that building is right now, yeah. But yeah, that's it. I'm yeah, I'm gonna go back in here, finish. I just wanna make sure I get this incident number. And so then you uh, give us a YouTube channel? Oh yeah, I'll give it to you. It's yeah. um Good Citizen Audits. Good citizen auditors. Mm. Audits. Audits. Good yeah. citizen yeah. audits. Good citizen audits. audits. I thought you heard that. You probably heard of it? I mean I've been in Howard County before, so I wouldn't be surprised. I like the uh you're yeah. from Long Island. Long yeah. Island. Yeah. yeah, I like that yeah, guy. He's a good he's, guy. He's good. He's a good guy. Yeah, one of my inspires. He's yeah. really good. Okay. Yeah, well, right, I, I appreciate you guys. Yep. All right, man. Uh, Have a good day. Hey, y'all too. All right. So, yeah. Well, I like having that little dialogue. Trying to make sure that, you know, 
the information is, you know, getting getting over correctly, you know. Uh, make sure that nothing is, is, is said that's not said. We still gonna request the body cam footage um, on this uh, situation, this case. And uh, we'll make sure that we can go in here and exercise our rights as we have the right to do. And then we'll be out of here. Yeah. Open as it should be. Hey. Hey. How you doing? You want me to do this again? Yeah. You want me to do this again? Yeah, you might just talk. Let me finish. Let me talk. Huh? What time is it going to be? Is it five minutes? Yeah, like, I mean. Let's come up with a moment. That's cute. This is five minutes, so one hour. But you're not going inside the building, right? Nah, it, it's small, you know. Oh, no, it's not going inside. No, 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 just right here. I, I know. You know I know. Come on now. You know my job. Buddy. Is that me? You know my job. Make sense? Huh? You know my job. I do, but, you yeah. know. Whatever the law over there, I see. Said, I get it, I, I get it. They, hopefully they change it, right? Hopefully they change it. We already got over there. We got over there. Let's come over here. Yeah, so this is, uh, look like this is where they go back and do... I got family visitation, job resource, as secured as it should be. Some notices. Once you turn your phone, I don't know what that's talking about in here once you go past there, but that's fine. Yeah. And then stuff. Drop off documents. Now it's like pretty much cleared out of here now. Mm hmm. Like they talking right there, <clears throat> doing reputation. Child support window. And here we go, the same sign. I mean, it's everywhere. Literally everywhere. And they got one, two, three. That sign everywhere. Okay. Register to vote here. Is this is that for this right here? Is this how you register to vote? No, that's Board of Elections. Ma'am, you can register to vote here? You can register to vote? You can get the form. You pick up the form and fill it out and just mail it out. Oh yeah, I might get one of those. I'll, I'll be right back though. I'm gonna need one of them too. I wanna vote. Make sure I'm at least make sure I'm signed, signed up to vote. Okay. Like another private area. That's it. Which is interesting. Push alarm sounds. Push into alarm sounds. Door can be open in 15 seconds. But we don't want to do that. Uh, we don't want to do that at all. Got some restrooms. So yeah, I agree. Oh, COVID. Yeah, yeah. More as indicated, which all these should be locked. Up, so. Then they got like a little, I guess, when the people bring their kids, they can like play and look at that. Take a book, I like that. Take a book, yeah. Also, let me. And they got a bunch of chairs. Uh, What's up, bro? Signs. Signs. Signs everywhere. Here we go. Make sure everything is closed, right? Yeah, security. Who, who you got? Is this a TC? TC? TC. 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 Let me get that. Let me get that. Yeah. Do, y do you got a, a contact for your, your supervisor? I mean, if you come next time, I give you a tip. How do I file a complaint with, with your company? I want your your buddy. He shouldn't have did that. He gave me the double middle finger. I mean, yeah, I mean that's not okay. I mean, you put a record too, right? But you saw what it, you know, was that professional for him to do no, that? No, honestly, that doesn't say anything. I don't want it. Like, he but, do that? Yes, he did. It's on camera. Already? Double middle finger. Yeah, yeah. How how do I file a complaint? What about me? No, you 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 okay? You all you did was you were enforcing what they told you. 
told you my job. I, and I understand yeah, that. And if we if we disagree, we reach out, we get higher, and they clarify. I mean, just Google it. You know, the company by right here. Yeah, but you don't you don't have a super. I can't file a complaint with you. No, I, you don't want you don't want to do that. I mean, if you want paper, I give you. A, you know, I'm a supervisor for this company. You are. Yes. Okay, then can you? I want something done about that. I want. All I want. Right, okay. I want to go. You know who he is. I don't have to tell you who he is. You know who he is. Yes. I want a complaint filed on him mm-hmm. for giving me the double middle finger, okay. which he did. Uh, you send me the after finish. You send me the picture. The you want the, you want the video yeah. that shows he did that. I mean, whatever you did, yeah. I mean, it's all yeah, yeah. What where you want me to send it to? I mean, the video. I give you my phone number. Yeah, let me write. I send it to you. What's what? What can y'all do about that? I don't know. I don't know. I, I want to follow. Okay, complaint. next time when you come, I tell. Here you go. You want to put it in there? I thought I want to put it in there. Don't worry about it. I okay. Want to put my phone number. Yeah, I. He can't. He can't do that. That ain't right. You know he can't do that. Right? I don't see anything, bro. I got, but uh, you told me you got a video. I, I sent it to the company there. Uh, double the double middle finger. Come on, man. That ain't okay. You got to call the next person. Okay, no problem. Yeah, yeah he did a double middle uh, finger, man. You going out, right? No, no. She told me to wait. She got to call. Uh, she got to call somebody. Who? She she finna call a number. She told me. To, she told me to wait. No, she called in the people, yeah. Yeah, she said give she said give her a second because yeah. she's doing it in order. I said okay. Crazy. Who yeah. Tony? You want me to tell you who Daniel? Da- Daniel? I don't know. That's one thing. Let me tell you. Why you not talk too nicely? It's smoothly. I did. No, you not did. What's I, did. Like so I came in. I came in. I said. I said. You coming? That way. You go to that building? I, I went to all the buildings. Okay, why are you coming in here? I see you, right? Yeah. Like a crazy person. Why you do that? Well, see, the thing hey, is. I come in this way. Did it, did it, did it, did it. So, I, I, I remember this report. When you can't, I said, hey, I said, yeah, I, just, I said, ain't nobody here. Where's the security? I said, hey, I just need to get cleared so I can, you know. No, when anybody comes in the building, they don't say anything. They just come in and get cleared. I should be the same. You should treat me just like them. When they come in, when they come in, they should be cleared and go through just like anybody else. Yeah, it should be the same, same, same. That lady, that lady's still back there. Oh, right there. Oh, well, he came back. So, yeah, we just going to, we'll wait. Uh, when they get done with the window, we'll go up there. Oh, look like I might be able to go. She gonna... Can... No, okay. She don't... Maybe she's not working. I need to see the... She said, why? That's crazy. <laughs> hey, you know? Hey. They may not like it, but they got to respect it. I'm here for the citizens. Yeah. I'm here for the people. The thing is, what is the purpose of your recovery? It's called social, uh, public or what? It's exercising rights. That, at the bottom line, that's what it is. We exercising rights today. All right. They can't stop it. We exercise so rights. Everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. 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 Every building, same building? Every building. All of them. All of them. get the kid. Yeah. I'll put them in many different places. YouTube is one. You want to check it out? You want to see you on camera? Yeah. Yeah. Good citizen audits. Check it out.
Damn, it's a long wait right here. How, how she gonna talk to him? She wanna talk to me? That deprivation of rights right there. You know what I'm saying? Deprivation of services. Okay, maybe this lady. I'm good now? There we go. You gotta service me, man. You got to. Come on now. You gotta service me. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but they don't want these people. They, the they gotta service me. They got to. That's deprivation of services. <laughs> Somebody gonna serve me. As this, I'm not. I'm not going nowhere. She, she didn't slip me a sticky note. What is old school? What, what am I doing with this? Over my PIA request? Can I get a full sheet of paper, please? Just give me a full sheet of paper. We'll be all right. Also, can I get the rights to vote form? This is crazy. Slide it over here. Ma'am, you know I can just step to the side. Can, can I get the right to vote for him? Yeah. The... Thank you. I appreciate it. They should probably put somebody up front who don't mind. Y'all being recorded. It's a camera right there in the corner. We're going to fill out this PIA request. So she's a supervisor. Okay. And I just gave her your Oh, there we go. Okay. Why are we doing it like that? Can you make, come on, ma'am. Just, just make, I need a copy of this request. Can you, can you, I got to turn in my, my PI request. Oh, here it is at the window. You got to, I need a copy. Can I get a copy? I need, I need, I need, I need a copy of that. Okay. There we go. Just, just take the copy. Make the copy. Please. There we go. Please. She gave me. Look what she's printing up. Oh, here we go. Voter registration. Got the voter registration application. So we can send that in. I understand. It'd be like, hey, you know, talk to me like this, talk to me like that, respectfully. We want to make sure we we, we, we do want to make sure we stay respectful. Thank you so much, ma'am. You're welcome. I appreciate it. You have a blessed day. Yes, ma'am. All right. All right, and that's that's it right there. You're done now. You want me to be done? Or are you I just mean, asking you wanna, me? Yeah, you take your time, I'll There we go. I, I am done. I appreciate that. Yeah. yeah. Have a good day. So we, we I think today was a, a definite valuable lesson. I think it's just, we, we're working on those signs, okay? We're working on those signs. All right. Hey, you have a good one. All right. Yeah, that's how that one's going. That's, that's how that one's going to go. Yeah, it's, uh tell y'all what happened uh, we came in today and again you know we want to exercise our rights but sometimes we don't necessarily have to tell them exactly what we are doing but if they you know if they coming off you know polite and nice sometimes hey I hey, look I'm trying to exercise my right I want to record the documents etc et cetera. we don't even have to tell them that but if we do it, it helps the process go along a little bit easier sometimes in this case mm, Maybe not so much, but at the end of the day, I think they definitely got educated. Again, we want to make sure we give a shout out to Annapolis Otis because this is, he was here, went through this situation and it, it's still a problem. It's still a problem. So, I mean, that just shows that sometimes we have to do these visits to ensure that the education is sticking because sometimes they want to do what they want to do but this time hey we coming from the top down and we not letting it go 
we're not just gonna educate this building, we're gonna educate everybody within the DHS community, okay? From the top down, uh, and, and like you guys, uh, if you haven't seen it, I, I, I try to uh, share a snippet of it. Uh, when I talked to Daniel uh, at the DHS location um, over in Baltimore, and, and they gotta do something, because we're not gonna stop. I, we're not gonna stop. We going around to every building. So you get educated, get them signs removed or rewritten, um, because if we keep encountering this, it's the, I mean, this causes stress on us, but it's gonna be it's definitely gonna be stressful on y'all. We're not letting up. Y'all not about to infringe on our rights. We we, we going all the way. So hey, just it behoove. Get the signs corrected so that we don't have this issue. We would appreciate it. We the people. We the citizens. And that's 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 how that need to go. All right. Well, until next time. Hey, I appreciate y'all. Make sure y'all like, share, subscribe. And uh, hey, we out of there. Peace.